Dewey, how did you sleep last night? Hmm? He doesn't like to be on camera. I know. He's like, I've had enough of this YouTube crap. I'm getting yeah. so many like people contacting me and like they want me to do a sponsorship where they're like vegan dog treats and it's just. We actually, somebody actually <laughs> contacted us about a a dog collar. And they have dog collars. Oh really? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Making us some dandy blend tea. We started getting this stuff instead of the Ticino just because it comes in this big package and Ticino is like 10 little tea bags for like $8 and this is like 100 servings for like 10 so making some of that stuff this morning. I kind of like the Ticino better though but this stuff is pretty good. To me it doesn't taste like coffee. It just kind of, it just kind of tastes like a warm, warm blanket. Warm blanket, yeah. Instead of doing heroin, you can just do the dandelion tea. <laughs> why do you say that? They don't know why, so you have to explain it. Well, when people explain their heroin use and how it makes them feel on intervention, they always explain it as like wearing a warm blanket. So we're just trying to find a alternatives for them <laughs> to <laughs> doing heroin. Maybe just, just put on a warm like a, blanket or something. Just put on a warm blanket and have some dandelion tea. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> thing in the world isn't it Dewey do your oatmeal dance dance <laughs> he doesn't care but oatmeal though what oatmeal's ready hey guys good morning so are you laughing at me good morning guys so this morning we are going to be making two of our recipes for the Instant Pot. One we've made like twice already, but we, um, the picture we, that we took, we didn't really like it, so now we've got to make it again and <laughs> hopefully take a better picture this time. So we're making the corn chowder and we're also making these like carrot hot dogs that we're going to have tonight for dinner. I don't know if you guys have ever tried them i've actually never tried them um but we came up with like a marinade so i've seen them on people's blog posts and things like that they're just basically like carrots that you steam and then you marinate them and then you like cook them like a hot dog <laughs> and you put them in a bun and you eat them like a hot dog and apparently they taste like a hot dog so that's what we're gonna try and have for dinner tonight but I just wanted to talk about something that I'm kind of like a little bit excited about so I've been hearing about this like zero waste thing everywhere lately and I started looking into it and I was reading um, the book by I think it's B her name's B I think that it's just a very very amazing concept because like she says in the book we put our trash in our trash bins we bring our trash down to you know the end of our driveway every week and then it just magically disappears but it it shouldn't be off of our conscience to where it goes because it's filling our landfills it is destroying our environment it is you know hurting animals because they're getting caught in these huge waste pits and like the off gases and they're getting you know they're like eating all of this garbage and stuff like lots of ducks and animals are like eating it and they're getting sick and it's just i just think that it would be so cool to start incorporating this i know it would be very very hard to go like zero waste overnight because you kind of i think that it's something that you progressively work towards like when we live in our tiny house i want us to be zero waste so it will be very interesting i'll keep you guys updated if any of you have gone through this or read the book by b um 
let me know because it would be really cool to like talk about it with people and I just think that it would be so cool to be like vegan minimalist zero waste you know gr growing all of our own food living in a tiny house it would just be like the perfect package off the grid with solar power and like water I think that it would just be something that like people could work towards and I think that it would be super cool Anyways, I'm gonna go cook some stuff and I'll bring you guys with me if you want. All right, so I got my carrots marinating here and we'll just let those marinate until tonight when we eat them. And this is the start of my corn chowder, so I just have some onion um, and garlic sauteing in here. And then I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredients, which is just basically Red pepper, got some frozen corn, and then potato. So here is our corn chowder all done, and I'm just gonna blend it a little bit with this immersion blender. All right, so our corn chowder is Done. This is what we're gonna have for lunch. And then we got rice. And this is our little setup for our photo for our ebook. Just gonna take some pictures quick and then eat some rice and some corn chowder. And then we're gonna go to Target and try and find some of those like more reusable vegetable bags and some more mason jars and just some more stuff that we need to create less waste around here. So here we got lunch. I put a little bit of hummus on here and then I also put some cilantro and a little bit of greens. Derek's just taking some professional video. That's what I do. <laughs> This is how we get like the overhead video shots for things that we use, recipe videos. So we got our bags. Derek's gonna open open it, which might take 20 minutes, but mm, quiet there. <laughs> Such a hater. <laughs> we have to document it. This is our zero waste journey. <laughs> oh, generating, generating more waste. It's all for the better. They're nice and big. Like, they are. Think about how much rice you could put in there, man. I mean, I couldn't imagine that they would weigh more than a plastic bag. These yeah. things are super light. Below. I'll put the Amazon link below, but I think they were like $10 for five of them, so they're not very expensive. And they're just yeah. made out of this like microfiber mesh that you can um that you can wash and stuff somebody sent me a link go away <laughs> somebody sent me a link to like an etsy shop of ones that were like biodegradable but they were made out of silk and i'm like well it's not really vegan so yeah, yeah. looks Dude. like dewey had a little party when we were going well apparently there's like this old park or something <laughs> down at the end of our street <laughs> So this lady said it was like really cool to walk through. She made it sound like it was like an old town or something. I don't know. I thought Bubba. she just said it was old. Whatever. Those crappy days are gone. Just leave them alone. Just leave them alone. You think you're not that strong. But turn up the phone. Turn up the phone. And take the near. And you did the fine, and you did the fine. Don't be scared. Well, that was an exciting little park. Hmm? So much excitement. It was like an old archaeological park. Did I say that right? And they're preserving it. And they're preserving it. All right. So we are sauteing our carrot hot dogs in the Instant Pot and we'll see how this goes. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I've never made these before. We will see. So here's our little vegan carrot dogs. 
You're so pretty. <laughs> they actually look like hot dogs. Vegan, <laughs> vegan, vegan. Yeah, try it. The vegan one. Got a little bit of ketchup on it. Get the real hot dog experience. Is that one harder? Maybe because it's bigger. They don't taste like a carrot. No. You like them? Mm hmm So how would you rate the carrot hot dogs? Um, I'd say that they're like a seven. I, I think they just need like, they just need to be cooked longer in the, in the Instant Pot, but there's a bit of an issue when we're steaming them, so. Yeah, we had an issue. So. But I think like the flavor was good. Yeah. And they looked like hot dogs, and with the ketchup and like sauerkraut and stuff on them, they tasted just like a hot dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is funny because like so many people eat hot dogs and they put so much crap on top of them that like you can't even taste the hot dog. You just taste like all the toppings. So I give them like an eight. Yeah, there. And what Hannah did with the buns was kind of creative as well because we couldn't find oil-free buns or buns that were vegan. So, so. I just bought like a big. Ha one of those half-baked like Vienna style breads from Trader Joe's and like chopped off the ends of it and cut the ends of it in half and then like made it into dangled them into, <laughs> into buns. buns. So that was really cool. Yeah. Good job, baby. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We are gonna sign off for today, but we'll see you tomorrow.